We know the heat wave gripping Texas this year is so extreme, even the trees can't stand it. Yeah, last year's drought combined with this year's hot and dry conditions is becoming a problem all the way to the root. So joining us now is Jess Divin Arborist with the Davy Tree Expert Company to talk more about this. Good morning, Jess. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So how is last year's drought impacting trees this year? Um, both last year's and this year's drought so far, um, really the, the the trees are starting to struggle just because they, they ha don't have enough water. Um, and you might see the symptoms of wilting leaves or tip dieback or even the tips of the leaves themselves starting to turn brown. So um, most of our trees need about an inch to two inches per month just for basic metabolism. So what do you suggest we do for these trees that are struggling? Is it just time to start watering more? Because some of our communities are being encouraged to water less. It's a, it's a bit of a mess right now. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit biased because I am a, a tree guy. So I would much rather water my trees than my grass. Um, my trees are not as easily replaceable as the grass. Um, some of these trees in your, in your properties may have taken 20, 30, 100 years to grow. Um, and we are seeing some, some very extreme weather conditions. Um, so putting more effort into watering the trees, but we're looking for deep, slow watering. We're looking for um, watering down to six to 18 inches in the soil. So um, not gushing water, very slow watering um, over longer periods of time. Definitely, and so how long can droughts typically impact trees? Um, some trees can take up to three to five years to recover from a drought. And um, really that's because of the, if you think about it, trees are kind of energy savings accounts. So if they're not able to produce the energy, um, it takes them a deficit. So they've got to rebuild that energy to, to make up for that loss. So um, it can take quite a while sometimes for a tree to recover from extreme drought. And what would you suggest to somebody who needs to plant a tree right now? Certainly there are better times of year, but let's say you're moving into a new home and you really don't have a choice. It's time to do it. How can you help protect it and just make sure it's growing through all this heat and drought? Um, really, again, fall is the best time to plant, mm -hmm. um, especially here in Texas where it's so hot and dry during the summers. Um, really just monitoring it. Um, if you do have to plant a tree right now, you're, you're, you're gonna struggle with it. It will be difficult, um, but making sure that you're watering at least every other day, um, but really checking the soil with your finger, um, actually poking your finger down into the soil. If it's, if it's moist, you don't need to water. If it's dry, give it, give it some love. All right, good to know. Is there any other advice that we should keep in mind? Um, Again, just deep, slow watering is, is one of the best things that we can do for our trees. And, and um, if, if the trees get super stressed, they can be more susceptible to insects, disease, um, and things like that. So um, and when in doubt, call an arborist. All right, All right there's the info we need. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much for your help this morning. No worries. Thank you for your time.